Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're breaking down Solana, guys. Let's get started. What is Solana? Initially launched in 2020 to serve as Ethereum's rival, the brainchild of Anatoly Yakovenko has evolved into an even better ecosystem than its predecessors. Solana is developed by Solana Labs and Solana Foundation. The platform is a public blockchain with smart contract functionality that optimizes for scalability. It is decentralized in nature and operates in an open source manner. One unique thing about Solana is that unlike other popular blockchains, it achieves consensus with the help of a hybrid consensus algorithm that combines proof of history and proof of stake, enabling the network to sustain a throughput of up to 50,000 transactions per second. Solana is for decentralized transactions that demand high throughput. Just like Cardano, it is a third generation blockchain because it set out to overhaul the dilemmas facing its pioneer predecessors, Bitcoin and Ethereum. The Solana network solves the problem of scalability by leveraging innovative technology such as pipeline, proof of history, etc. Solana's native currency is Souls, and has a limited supply of 488.6 million, with nearly 300 million Souls already in circulation, according to CoinGecko. How does Solana work? The blockchain uses a 256-bit secure hash algorithm, a set of proprietary cryptographic processes that outcome a 256-bit value. Another unique feature of Solana is its eight core innovations. Altogether, these eight innovations contribute to the faster transaction processing time and secure data storage, thereby creating a platform that's friendly to applications with lots of activity like NFTs, DeFi, video games, etc. Here's how Solana uses these innovations to power its platform. 1. Proof of History Speed is one of the three primary dilemmas in blockchain development because it also drives network traffic, which led to Solana incorporating the Proof of History protocol into its consensus algorithm to enable greater scalability of the protocol resulting in boosted usability. The Proof of History protocol is a high-frequency, verifiable delay function that facilitates a trustless system to overcome the problem of nodes disagreeing on time and order of events by establishing a cryptographically safe source throughout the network. With this system, consensus overhead will decrease because nodes no longer have to align themselves with the entire network before reaching a consensus to make a new block. Additionally, Solana uses the Proof-of-Stake consensus algorithm for securing the network. 2. Base Byzantine Fault Tolerance, also known as Tower BFT. To transmit blocks, Solana runs a Tower BFT, a proof-of-history optimized system that leverages the POH synchronized clock to achieve consensus. It operates by locking out nodes after voting a form for some time. 3. Turbine Since the Solana core does not depend on peer-to-peer -peer messages, for optimized block propagation, the Solana platform uses a turbine to break down blocks and conveys them between individual blockchain nodes. This ingenious idea kills two birds with one stone. The platform solves bandwidth problems while also increasing its total capacity to process transactions more quickly. 4. Gulfstream Thanks to this protocol, Solana can support up to 50,000 TPS. Just like the name implies, once a transaction flows into a validator, they in turn forward it to an upcoming leader. Validators can process transactions ahead of schedule, resulting in quicker leader changeover and less memory strain that unconfirmed transactions may have caused. 5. Pipelining Imagine pipes carrying water to your neighborhood from one central source. That's how Solana utilizes this protocol. Pipelining is a CPU design technique of assigning a sequence of input to multiple hardware components, speeding up transaction data verification and duplication. 6. Cloud Break Solana uses this feature to create a horizontally scaled accounts database that enables an increase in scalability. 7. C-Level To scale SSDs and GPUs, Solana uses a hyper-parallelized transaction processing engine. Because of this, the project remains the only chain that uses parallel blockchain transactions in one shard. Other blockchains have just a single thread. 8. Archives To run a Solana full node, you will need 16 cores, 32 threads or more for your CPU, a RAM of 256 gigabytes, and more than 4 terabytes of disk space. To back up your data, you will use up all of that and over 13 terabytes as well. Keeping such a high volume of data in sync can be demanding. Solana uses archivers to store data. To archive, a network of nodes gets offloaded from validators to the archivers, which the network frequently checks to verify that they're cataloging the correct data. How are Solana and Ethereum different? Created to repair the shortcomings of Ethereum, Solana has excelled in most of the areas it set out to embark on. Let's see some of the differences between these two coins. Differences Solana processes transactions a lot faster than Ethereum. The block time of Ethereum is 15 seconds, making it difficult for the blockchain to process more than 30 transactions per second. The speed beast Solana, however, can process 65,000 transactions per second. Huge, huge difference. In terms of expenses, transactions on the Solana blockchain are cheaper to process. Because of its slow processing time, Ethereum gas fees have become too high and many people are choosing the better alternative. Ethereum has a larger market capitalization than Solana. Ethereum still uses the same proof-of-work protocol as Bitcoin. Solana is running on the more modern, greener protocol, proof-of-history with optimum performance. Ethereum is ready to switch to the proof-of-stake protocol and upgrade from the proof-of-work consensus algorithm. How can you use Solana? Applications of Solana The chief use case of the Solana token is to pay for transaction fees across the Solana network ecosystem. Because of its optimized speed, transaction fees are much, much lower compared to other cryptocurrencies. Token holders can stake their Solana and make passive income from the resulting rewards. 
You can also buy an NFT on the Solonart Marketplace. For those of you looking to get into cryptocurrency, if you were wondering where to buy the Sol coin, the usual suspects are here. Binance, Kraken, Coinbase, etc. Here's a fun fact before we end this video. Anatoly Yakovenko and his co-founders chose the name Solana as a reminder of the three years they lived and surfed at Solana Beach. That's it for today's video, guys. Remember, nothing said in this video is financial advice. If you're a newbie looking to go into crypto, please seek the advice of a professional or do your research to be safe. What did you like about this video? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more crypto blockchain content. See you soon.